Hi friends! I'm so happy to be back on YouTube. Let's talk about how you can make 2021 a year full of joy, despite all the ups and downs that you'll face. For me, it all starts with prayer. As soon as I open my eyes in the morning, I make it a habit to utter this prayer. Dear God, please bless this day and let it be fruitful in your name, I pray. Amen. After that, I can check my emails and notifications and slowly start getting ready for the day. When I prayed for God to give me a theme for 2021, I received the word joy. Yet, no less than a week into the new year, there's already been madness in Capitol Hill. But then I remembered what I learned about joy, and it all made sense. Joy isn't the absence of grievance. It is the presence of hope. Joy is different from happiness because happiness is determined by what happens to you. If good things happen, then you're happy. If bad things happen, then you're sad or frustrated. Joy, on the other hand, is dependent only on one thing, hope. If you have hope, then you can have joy. And with the hope of Christ to keep us going, you and I can choose to have joy in 2021. By the way, here's a fun update. I picked up embroidery this year. You can see the finished product right now on my Instagram, but sewing this has been so therapeutic for me. I realized that I'm actually not a super patient person, so this activity slows me down and helps me to be more present. Maybe you can give it a try if you'd like. I'll link all my favorite embroidery kits below. I encourage you to pick up a peaceful hobby this year that will help you decompress in a fun and healthy way. Another update is that my husband and I are actually looking to buy our first house together. We really thought that we would stay at this apartment for the next three years, but after running the financials and taking our family goals into consideration, we think that a single family home would be our best move. I know that some of you guys are just as attached to this apartment as I am, given that you followed my journey of moving here, decorating this place, and seeing me get married on the balcony. I'm sad that my future children won't be able to run around on the same balcony as where their parents got married, but I believe that moving into a single family home is the right next step for us. And yes, that also means that we're going to start trying for a baby later this year. But as you know, so much can happen in a year so we'll definitely have our hands open to wherever the Lord leads us. There's a beautiful proverb that says, We can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. We believe in that wholeheartedly.
And speaking of plans, my devotional journal slash planner is also in the printing process as we speak. It's going to be filled with godly wisdom, therapeutic artworks, creative worksheets, delicious recipes, and even origami. I went all out for this devotional because I wanted to create something truly unique and abundant for you guys. If you want to get a sneak peek of the journal, sign up for our weekly newsletters at thehugashop.com. Our newsletter subscribers always get exclusive insight into these things. This devotional journal is my proudest creation yet. I can't wait to release it to you in the next few weeks. On top of everything else, I'm also launching a TikTok account, so follow me there for short video content twice a week. I never thought I'd be serious about TikTok, since I wasn't sure what to even post there. But then I thought, why not just try it out? It's another opportunity to reach people who might appreciate peaceful content. So, there you have it. Girl in the Word is going to stumble her way through TikTok this year, so please cheer me on if you have the app. Talking straight to the camera is definitely not my strong suit, so this journey took a lot of research, practice, and preparation. As with any new skill that I want to hone, I just hopped onto Skillshare and browsed for classes on public speaking and videography. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just immerse yourself in creativity. To learn how to speak in front of the camera better, I watched a course called Presentation Essentials by Simon Sinek. I loved when he said, I only talk about things I care about and I only talk about things I understand. You can manufacture energy, but you can't manufacture passion. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can keep going wherever your creativity leads you. The first 1,000 people to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of premium membership. After that, It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and for creating such an awesome and inspiring platform. Well, I know that's a lot of updates for me, 
but I'm a huge planner, so I love casting vision and sharing them with you guys. I hope I gave you some neat ideas for 2021. It's going to be a wild ride, but one that's filled with joy because we get to share our lives with each other. Till next time, friends. Take care.